Good day everyone, Kentucky Gamer here today. We're going to show off some brand new mods today, of course. And yes, we got some new tractors. We have plenty of stuff that came in. Uh, we have a new IT runner truck and it's just a lot to look through. While well, I'm sitting here in the garage of a house I put in today. We'll take a look at it and see what we see. This is a very nice made built house. It's got a lot of detail to it. You cannot go in the inside of it, unfortunately. You do have your sleep right up here by the door, but you do have your own personal garage and everything. That's always nice to have, as everybody knows. Damn. Got a nice vehicle. You want to put it up? Speaking of putting it up today, Now, ain't this just nice? We do have to agree, it is nice. This is the Stone Valley Vehicle Storage. It will use up six slots. Now, they've got three different versions of these with double doors, everything. They have a smaller version of them. You have your light switch. Very nice, very nice. I'm very happy with it. I believe that'll be another addition to my farm. We also have a Polish large barn. Located right here. Now it has the drive through doors. It does not have any lights in it. No lighting whatsoever but still a lot of storage space. We actually have windows for lighting that will help. The doors seem to open and close real good. And then when you're done, you can just drive on through. That's service with a smile right there. We also have this huge, huge silo. It's very loud, I noticed. But it does have its own special dryer. I have not found a way to turn it off. But as you can tell, the dryer itself is here, and apparently they burn the wood in it to heat up and keeps it dry. I think it'd be a nice addition if we had to keep adding wood to it just to give us another chore to do. That's what we need. <laughs> Yep, that's absolutely what we need. Another chore. We'd have stock firewood to keep our grains dry. Yep. I like that. Up next on the list here we have the IT runner truck. Tatra Phoenix. Very nice looking truck. It does have a lot of options. very good sound yeah yeah it's got a horn if we call it that but as you can see yes very nice looking truck we can find them under trucks took me a little while to find this one but it's here there we go the Phoenix will run you 108,000 for 15 slots. Color variations, many. Rim variations, of course. Configurations with trailer hitch, without. Your beacons, you can have your standard beacons, two beacons, or a rear beacon. As you can see, right there. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Engine setup. The ITR 450 horsepower is what it's saying there, but it's only 442. Then we have IT runner 640 horsepower. Very, very nice. Lots of power there. Yeah, I may have to start running more IT runner stuff. 
Sounds interesting. We do have us another fertilizer today. Here we have the Lizard RCW5 fertilizer. The trailer's good, features good. It has unfold fertilizer. Unfold fertilizer. Uh, guess what? That's all it does is this right here opens and closes the gate back here. Which is kind of a neat, interesting feature. We normally do not have this on fertilizers. This will hold your lime and fertilizer also. Find it under fertilizing technology. It will have a six slot counts. Cost you $7,500, not bad. You can customize it, now the main colors gray or green yes and of course your rim colors but that's all you have you get what you get and barely change the color but you know overall it could be a good vehicle let's go ahead and see how it works real quickly we'll put some lime in it and find out actually forgot how wide of a spread is this one 10 meter spread now if I'm not mistaken in the mod hub it did tell us that it had a 10 meter millimeter milli, <laughs> 10 meter fertilizer spread but only 6 meter on line so we'll find out Well, that looks like 10 meters to me. Yeah, it seems to be worth it. Flow rate is going very comfortably, looks like. Yeah, we're happy with that. Very nice looking mod. Yeah. Moving on, we have a Brazilian trailer here. This Brazilian trailer will run you four slots. Yes, for the, our console friends, yes, slots is more like money. The Brazilian trailer holds. What does it hold? I forget. Let's find it in under trailers and go see. But it's called the 10T trailer. Yep, there it is. Okay, 10,000 liters. Well, that makes sense. And looks like it will haul pretty much anything you want put in it. Very nice. There is no adjustments on vehicle height. So, no, we're not able to level it you can open cover but overall just a good little tipper be really good for small farms and such I want to take a peek at something real quickly while we're in here Okay, but it is what it is. You can't paint it, can't do nothing with it, but still yet. I'm sure we could use it for something. 
Oh, I have another set of trailers to show you. Very interesting trailers. Now these will, you cannot load grain into them from a silo. I done tried that. But now you might could use a tipper and dump into them, or if not, a bucket and dump into them. I believe they're mainly for your bells, crates, and such. Very nice looking trailer as we can see. You can hook up two together, or 30, if that is your wish. Yes, somebody will try that. Let's hook 30 of them up and see how it works. Now these trailers you will find not in trailers. I do not understand that. They did not put them in trailers. They're over here miscellaneous. Yeah, it's very odd. But in miscellaneous. There they are. Small trailer. They use seven slots each. $2,000 a trailer. Well, not bad. You get what you get. No changes. Non-operable. However, I did find something very unique with these. The unfold option is here. And it's interesting how they done it. Because you actually see it unfold. Now isn't that just cool? Now I have to admit, I would get a little impatient waiting on it, but just a neat design how they done that. These sides, however, do not come off. You do have your straps and such. So might would make it easier loading, unloading and such. Yeah, very nice. Interesting mods that they created here. Moving on. I wanted to check out this forage header they put out today. The header is just a monstrous looking thing. I mean, Lord have mercy. It's just ready to chew you up right there. You can just look at it and tell you. However, let's wait till you unfold it. Now this takes up 11 slots, costs you $71,500. Uh, I do not have anything at the moment that I can forge, but as you could tell, it's just one mean looking machine. Well, I'm full pipe, I'll am full pipe. So pretty much, if you see this thing coming at you, get out of the way. I don't run a lot of forage because I burnt myself out on it. But I have to admit, I wouldn't care to try that one. Up next we have this cute little bitty tractor here. This is a Lizard 575 Brazilian tractor. Now I've mentioned Brazilian quite a few times so apparently we have a Brazilian map coming on. Hmm that'd be nice. In the mod hub you will find this in the store under small tractors. 22,370. Not bad. You get what you get. No changes. No nothing. But it's a very simple, basic tractor as a way to look at it. Sounds good. Runs good. Does what it should. Turns nicely. I think it'd be really great for small farms. Up next, we have, looky here, two pretty little toys <laughs> from New Holland, T7 series. Now, we have a 
short wheelbase and we have a long wheelbase. These will run you with the slot count kind of high, but uh, it all depends on what you want. So we would deal with it if we wanted it bad enough. You'll find these under medium tractors. Now we have a T7 series. Now that is actually 51 slots. We have the T7 long wheelbase with AC for 41 slots. We have the T7 short wheelbase. Hmm. That one is 30 slots. We have another T7 long wheelbase. So I'm kind of confused on what to hear. It just comes. you can have wide tires wide tires with the weights twins twin wheels front and also your narrows yeah pretty nice pretty nice I have to admit your designs the blue power it really does not except uh, really do anything except just change the design on the front of the tractor your decal look there we go i said it right um console players yes we have a seat monitor but it does us no good pto you can change your pto and have a front pto also your engine upgrades <clears throat> is anywhere from 195 to 270. that's not bad for a medium-sized tractor Front loader attachments, of course, yes or no. Always handy to have. Let's see how she runs. Now, you can close your front doors. Your back window opens very nicely. Horn, yes. Overall nice. We have to admit, that's a good looking tractor. Let's check out the long wheelbase. Yeah, that just seems like a tractor. It's ready to run. Max speed, 32 miles an hour. We're happy with that, ain't we? Okay, next on the tractor list, we have the Agco Challenger. The slot count of 24. This will run you... Hmm, pricey. <laughs> but, if you do like these tractors, they are very nice. You will find them under large tractors. Eight hundred series. I also have the eight hundred E, eight hundred series regular. I don't know really what the difference is. Colors none, but you can put the weights on the front as usual. Different sizes of what you want. Your design standard bronze tip. I was like, well, what are they talking about? I finally found it. 
the exhaust a bronze tip exhaust hmm now that just makes it pop we're happy with that you can change the engine covers with this engine cover engine cover 2 or just regular kind of interesting yes your engine set up and it will start out 350 horsepower go all the way to 640 horsepower now that is a machine built to run and pull anything you want to do with it we have different wheel setups three millimeters wide the dog hmm hadn't heard that before but yeah we got the dog <laughs> three millimeter wide with the dog with weights three millimeter wide with weights yes we also have for the rows and the rows would be handy if that's the way you play no GPS yes GPS whatever don't matter to our console friends very very nice looking machine I did drive it down here very good looking vehicle will just have a lot of pulling power I do believe I am currently on flat map and I will try to get it set up better where we can test this stuff and actually see how well it does I promise you that because I figured out flat map would be a better one to introduce all these vehicles and such I think so anyways I never know I might get bored someday and design me a map here until then I got me one map going right now and I'm very happy with it but anyways good day to everyone um, if you did like the video please smash that like button everybody who hits the like button if you have not subscribed yet, please do subscribe. Until another day of great mods that comes out in Farming Simulator 19. Enjoy and thank you for watching.